Next on Art Fennell Reports, we're on the road in Camden, New Jersey, where we are building a healthier community, and we're joining some very talented students in a walk for diabetes, and we're kicking off a special program. It's all coming up next on Art Fennell Reports. Hello everyone, I'm Art Fennell bringing to you this report on location from Camden, New Jersey. So happy that you're joining us for this special installment of the report. Today I am here at the Brim Medical Arts High School. This is primarily a magnet school where the students here follow the curriculum based upon the Camden Board of Education. But this is primarily a school where they focus on science, math, and health. And this is all about building a healthier community. Uh, these students are very, very talented, and you will get to meet them throughout the course of this uh, hour. You will uh, see some of their great experiments that they're doing, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you also see around the perimeter, they're doing a walk right now. This is a walk for diabetes, because again, we're trying to build a healthier community. You're looking at students. Faculty, the community has come out. Uh, they're all here uh, sharing in this cause as we're trying to bring some light to the cause of diabetes today, which is an illness that primarily affects uh, African American and Latino populations, but does not discriminate against any population. So we'll hear more on that as we continue as well. We've got a lot we want to bring you from here on the outside. But before we begin with that, I want to take you inside the school first so you can see some of the things they do here on a regular basis that makes this school so very, very special. The Charles Brim Medical Arts High School was founded in 1994 as a learning institution uh, to foster the careers of students interested in pursuing, as we say, math, health, and science careers. Now, this is a small school. There are only about 270 students here, mostly minorities and mostly from economically depressed backgrounds, not exclusively, though. But these students are beacons of light from the classrooms to the lab rooms. The goal here is success. And that's exactly what they achieve here. This school boasts a 100% graduation rate, and they are highly sought after. They are award-winning students, honor students, and as we say, highly sought after by prestigious colleges and universities all around the country. They're building a legacy here, one class at a time, one grade at a time. And the person who's here with me now who's helping to foster those careers is the boss, the principal here, uh, Principal Thurcell Treese uh, here at Brim. Thank you so much for having us uh, here at your school. This is a special place, isn't it? Yes, it is very special, and thank you for coming. Uh, medical arts, uh, as you said, is continuing the legacy of ex excellence as well as personal empowerment for our students. Yes, and, and these students, and we've had a chance to talk to some of them, and we chose to come come to this school because of the high levels of achievement and academics that you all set for them and that they achieve on a daily basis. The background on the school, I said it was founded in 1994 in honor of Dr. Charles Brim. Tell me just a little bit about the namesake of the school. Uh, Dr. Charles E. Brim is a medical doctor in Camden and for years, centuries, have donated his time and talent to uh, Camden City and uh, to the uh, the school. So as a result of his contributions to the city of Camden, uh, it was decided that medical arts, well, the school medical arts would be named the Dr. Charles E. Brown Medical Arts. And you all started at Our Lady of Lords uh, Hospital, which is uh, just a stone, stone's throw away from where we are now. And then you were able to come into this school. And as a relatively new school, uh, you've achieved quite a bit of high accolades in a very short time. Tell me about some of those. Uh, I am happy to say that Medical Arts High School has made AYP, uh, which is based on our New Jersey standardized test every year. Last year we had 98% in English, we made AYP in math. This year I'm happy to say that once again we have made AYP scoring 83% in math, 92% in language arts. Some, some, very high, some very high scores there. Yeah, and, and I want you to respond to this. There are those who, who would say that uh, when we say, look, we wanted to come to Camden to do this report today, there are the critics out there who say, my goodness, why are you going to Camden? That is, is that place safe? Uh, is, is Camden a place, you know, where students can really thrive? Do they get the resources they need? There are people who are watching us right now from several states all 
traveling up and down the East Coast corridor who may not be familiar with the true story of Camden, New Jersey. Can you shed some light to help dispel those types of myths that people hear every day? The true story of Camden is I came here in 1978 and just working with the teachers, the students, I decided to stay here. I've been here uh, since I live in Philadelphia. The students and the staff members in Camden work very hard. Our funds are limited uh, and they seem to be getting uh, less and less, but as far as medical arts and uh, Camden City, it's dedicated staff members that really make a difference. Uh, I know at our school, our teachers are second to none. They work right up to the last minute providing shoes, uniform, whatever is needed right. because the children are really talented here. And some of them, quite frankly, they come from some very tough backgrounds. I mean, they need help in these types of situations, and they're thriving despite the fact, correct? Yes, they are. They come uh, through the doors, and the students that we have here at Medical Arts, uh, some of them come from two family homes, some of them come from foster homes, but they work against the odds and uh, just at the last minute they are there working very hard and pulling through, which is why we have uh, the high graduation rate and uh, almost well, no dropout rate at Medical Arts High School. I, I love that. And again, you called it a, a diamond in the rough. We're going to help polish that diamond a little bit here today, which is why we're here. Principal uh, Thurston Reese, thank you very much. And you're not going thank far. You. We're going to be uh, doing this walk here throughout the course of the hour, and uh, we're going to hear from some of these students as they tell us about the great things that they're doing here, and they're going to show us some experiments. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing some of those experiments, okay? Thank you very see, much. See yeah. you again, see okay. you again shortly. Um, we want to show you again, uh, they're walking uh, around this perimeter. This is a, uh, you might call it a, a, a ceremonial um, a walk for diabetes. We're not here raising any monies, and it's basically for the students here so that they understand uh, why we're here and what we're doing.